Hey, check it out. There was a time when Jesus was walking with his disciples in Jerusalem, and uh, when they're going by the temple, here's the deal. They say to Jesus, check it out. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's fabulous. Oh my God. Have you ever seen anything this great in your life? Jesus listens to what they got to say and he has another thought altogether. He says to them, well, you know what? There's going to come a time when all of these beautiful stones, this entire building, however lovely it is, all of those walls, there's going to come a time when they'll come tumbling down and there won't be any more temple, any more walls. Now, it's true that Jesus was talking about a lot of different things. He could have been talking about the end of time, or he could have been talking about what we think of as the church without walls, a church where there will be no more stones that hold us in. For me, though, I'm wondering whether a church without walls is really what we want to be talking about at all. Maybe what we really want to be talking about is a church beyond walls. Walls are those things that hold us in. And you know what? Sometimes that's a good thing. Check out your skin. It's a wall. It holds your whole body in place. Otherwise, your whole guts would just pour out all over the place. Your walls sometimes are important. And the walls of life, these boundaries that keep us together and keep us independent, also are the walls that allow us to get into a relationship with another. I can walk up to someone and we can have a conversation and the boundaries, although they're there, are boundaries that we cross over. We get beyond our walls, our insides, and we interact with another person. We have a conversation. We share God's love and we grow. Walls are not necessarily something to be without, but I do think that Jesus wants us to get beyond. We need to get beyond the walls that hold us back from being everything, everything that God dreams of us to be. It's those walls, it's the walls that limit us that Jesus is inviting us to get beyond. When I think of church and all of the beautiful walls that many of us grew up in and maybe even a church that you go to right now, when I think of those walls, those are beautiful and they in fact are places where congregations live and congregations serve. But here's the thing about those walls, just like Jesus said, when you take a look around, even around these beautiful walls right here, something else is going on. Something is going on old buildings. Check it out over there. Old buildings that used to serve very important purposes now are nothing but walls that are tumbling down. Not every building lasts forever and not every church. And that's okay. That's okay. Because the church should not be held by a bunch of walls. The church are the people of God who are trying to get out and trying to be a part of the world in which they live. So, as the church, we need to be out of the walls, especially when we are worried about what life is like outside of the church. If we feel safe inside, if we are afraid of what's out there, if we can't imagine what life would be like outside, interacting with the world around us, well, then Jesus comes to us and talks to us again. In John's Gospel, there's a great story about Jesus and his disciples. It's after the resurrection and it's way cool. Here's the deal. The disciples are hiding because they're afraid. Jesus is out of the grave and they don't know what to do. They're hiding behind the walls of their little upper room, their little sanctuary. They're safe and sound and that's a good place for them, they think. Until all of a sudden, Jesus appears right in the middle of them. And they're blown away by that. They can't believe it. What could this, how could this be? Jesus says, peace be with you, and they feel better. Their fears are eased a little bit. They're feeling like maybe they can be with Jesus again, and that's a good thing. Jesus says, peace be with you, a second time. It's actually very neat. Peace be with you a second time. And then he says a very important thing. 
as the Father has sent me, Jesus says, so I send you out of the walls, out of this little room, and into the world around you. And then he does a way important thing. He breathes on them. Literally, that's what it says. It's like, he breathes on them. And he says, receive the Holy Spirit. And from that point forward, those disciples realize that hanging out behind closed doors, behind the walls of the church, is no place for the church to be. The church needs to be beyond the walls of any building. The church needs to be the way we live and serve and care and show God's love in the world around us, to all the people around us. And I want to tell you something. When disciples of Jesus do that sort of thing, they become fully alive. They become fully engaged. It's really something, actually, to see. Do you think that you're ready for that kind of life, for that kind of faith, for that kind of relationship with Jesus? If you are, you might want to check out what's going on beyond the walls of the church and come join us there. That's where living the Christian faith really is exciting.